hanging out in the solar shed at uh, 9.30 in the morning I'm getting 781 watts, 783 in my solar shed. Last night I wired up the uh, breaker box and this morning checked the voltage and threw the switch. So the solar shed is all done. I've got room for my tools, drills and everything. You can go here, screwdrivers. I'm using pegboard. I'm putting pegboard up on the walls. I'm not uh, using the AC electricity today. But the solar panels are all on the roof. All 1,200 watts. And I've been charging the e-bike on a cloudy day from empty to full. There's the clouds. It was only 33 watts this morning at 6.30. But the charger's been going. And it's still going. It's topping off the battery now. So it's balancing the cells. The charger's down to 98 watts. Uh, but that's also including the fan. I've been boiling kettles for tea. So I've been having tea using the kettle. The fan's been going all the time. And the Bluetti came down to 30%. And now it's got a net charge because I've got 900 watts coming in almost. 888 watts are coming in. 890. And 97 watts are going out to the fan and the Sauron charger. So, solar shed. I'm very happy with this metal shed. And I built this whole system for uh, solar testing. And the Bluetti AC200 goes perfectly in this kind of setup because I can run lights, I can run drills, and all kinds of electric devices, kettles, fans, I can cook out here, and so it's perfect for off-grid living, van life, yachting, glamping, uh, you could put it in a van of course and do your camping and take your e-bike with you, RVs, it's got all kinds of useful functions and I haven't even really used the DC much yet because I can charge my computer, I can run DC lights, without having to run the 230 AC. Anyway, the battery is now going up. It's up to 36, the minimum today. Fully charging a Sauron e-bike. The e battery is fully charged now. The e-bike is charged. And it took it down to 30% on the battery. But that was also boiling kettles and running the fan and so on.